still trying to capture lightning, but first we are trying to find the equation of a rational expression from a graph. Come on, Annie. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have this picture, and I want the equation of this picture. We see that there are a couple of things. We have a y-intercept, we have an x-intercept, we have an asymptote, and we have another asymptote. The one that we might want to start with is um, that one. Boom. Sure. If that's a zero, then what's a factor? Then, x minus 5 is a factor. And where does that happen? That happens in the numerator because it's a zero of the function. Now, this asymptote here, that asymptote here, that says, that says, what is that? That is x is equal to 6. Sick! But what? x is equal to 6 and that means that x minus 6 is a factor. But from where? From the denominator down there. Why? Because you got that vertical asymptote. So, we know two things in. This F, I'm going to call it R because it's currently raining right now. And this is Southern California, so that's kind of significant. So, what? I have that X minus 5 is in my numerator. I have that X minus 6 is in my denominator. And wait, let me get this straight. That horizontal line, sure. That horizontal line happens when the numerator and denominator have same degrees. So you can see that in struggle for asymptotes. Go ahead, look that up. Um, but what? That means numerator and denominator have same degrees, so that these, oh, that's degree one, that's degree one, that's fine. That means that there is some number in front of here. I'm just going to call it A. Da -da, da -da. Because what's A going to get us? A going to get us our y-intercept. Where do y-intercepts happen? Well, what's my x value here? Six. What's my x value here? Five. Four, three, two, one. And so at the buzzer, my x is equal to six, or whew, zero. So when x is equal to zero, you get a y-intercept. So I'm going to go, and I know that my y-intercept is 26. So my y-intercept, when, oh, row, row, row your boat, it's freaking raining. That's 26 when all of these x's are zero. So I got my a, that's going to be, uh, whoa, whoa there. That's 0 minus 5 divided by 0 minus 6. Now, I'm being rigorous when I'm doing this, but I have my 26th. Isn't that 10 thirds? Yeah, sure, whatever. So then, this is, uh, oh, wait for it. Oh, wait for it. We're almost there. Finish him. That's, um, 5, 6, A. Okay. So wait, what's my A? Okay, so then that's multiply by the reciprocal, and then that's a 6 fifths times a 26 is it positive or negative? That was at negative 5 6 and a negative 1 6, so all right, that's positive. I'm sure. Am I sure? I don't even know. My A should be negative. Why? That's why. That's why. Okay, okay. Caught it. That should be negative. Look, that's a minus 26. Uh huh. That's a minus 26. Uh huh. That's a minus 26. Uh huh. And then my A is a minus 4. Sure. But wait, there's more. Let's put it all together in this nice tight package. Which package? R. R is R of X. That's gonna be. What was my A? My A was a minus 4. Sure. And then I have. In x minus 5, all right, and then that's all divided by in x minus 6, and the whole thing is sick. I hope we don't get sick because it's freaking raining outside. <laughs> Box and shower. Perfect. Yeah. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Do 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 do. You make math time lots of fun. Do 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 do.